I want to get a paternity test on our son because he doesn't look like me. My wife wants to divorce me over it. My wife, 35F, and I, 37M, have been married for 12 years. We have three kids and I always had this nagging feeling that our middle child wasn't mine. Our oldest and youngest look just like me, but my middle child doesn't. My wife has shown me a picture of her grandfather and he does look a lot like him, but he just doesn't have any of my family features, he looks so different than anyone else in the family. I decided I wanted a paternity test to put my mind at ease. My wife got pretty upset when I brought it up because cheating has always been a deal breaker for her, but I just saw that as all the more reason to get one done. I told her that if she had nothing to hide she should have no problem with getting one done. I tested my son and it turns out he's mine. I thought everything was fine, and I had my peace of mind. Except she told me she was going to take the kids and go to her parents for a while. When I asked why she exploded and told me that she was seriously considering divorcing me over the stunt. That she was furious with me for doubting her loyalty to me knowing how she felt about cheating and that she would never forgive me for what I put our son through, making him question his place in the family. I tried to get her to see my side, that I just wanted to be sure, and that surely she could see why I'd question it when he looks nothing like me. She told me she would never forgive me for this, and that I hoped my foolish pride was worth the cost of my family. She hasn't spoken to me since. I need advice on how to get her to talk to me and get her to see my side of the story and that it wasn't some attack on her character like she seems to think it was. I don't want a divorce. Update 1. So, it's been a couple months now and I thought I'd update. My wife finally agreed to a sit down with me a couple weeks after I posted, and as some of you said, she doesn't want to stay with me. We talked and basically it boiled down to she wants a divorce because I don't trust her and think so poorly of her character that I thought she'd pass another man's child off as mine. She then said she'll never forgive me for treating my son so abhorrently he asked why I hated him. I didn't realize I treated him so differently, but apparently it was obvious. I tried to defend myself, but she asked what I meant then, because no matter how I tried to dress it up, I accused her of cheating and treated our son like trash because he wasn't my spitting image. She then brought up she wondered if I was projecting because only one of us ever had infidelity in their background and it wasn't her. That stung, because while yes, I had cheated in two past relationships, I've never cheated on her. I said that, but she said she'd never cheated at all, but that didn't stop me from accusing her of it did it? So now my kids won't talk to me and my wife wants to divorce me. All over a paternity test. Update 2. My wife is divorcing me, if you need all the details, you can check my profile I guess, but the short of it is, it's over me getting a paternity test. I want to spend Christmas together, but my wife won't spend it with me. She said she'd split the day so I could see two of my kids, but I want her and the third child to come too. She refuses to do this. I asked my son if he wanted to come see me and he said no, he'd stay with my wife. I said that I shouldn't continuously be punished for getting a paternity test and that the kids deserve to spend time with a full family unit. She said our son deserves to be around someone who doesn't act in a way that makes him feel like I hate him. I tried to argue being a full family unit again would be good for everyone and maybe we could even try to reconcile since I still don't want a divorce, and think she should give me another chance. She said no, offered to split the day again, and that was it. How can I convince her to come spend the day with me? Update 3. My wife and I are divorcing against my will over me getting a paternity test. She wouldn't spend Christmas with me, or make our middle child see me, though she did offer to send our other two, and she refused to have dinner with me on my birthday, despite me asking her several times to do so. I finally got frustrated when she refused to see me this weekend and told her she needed to start working with me so we can work this out and she needs to stop coddling our child and make him see me too. My wife refuses to work with me at all, and refuses to send my son who I, in her words, treated like shit to see me against his will. I really think if I could just get her to see me I could convince her to talk this out with me. I don't want to be the first person in my family to end up divorced. My mom says to give her space because she thinks I messed up by doing what I did, and any chance of reconciliation needs to be on her terms not mine, but my dad is actually mad at me because he thinks I acted like a piece of crap, in less polite words, and ruined my relationship and he has taken my wife and child's side completely. I don't want to let this keep festering, so I actually need good advice to get her to agree to talk things out with me. Final update. Op posts on another sub, asking how he can get his co-workers to stop being cold towards him. I, 38M, work with a young woman, 23F, who I will call Emma. Her daughter turned 4 last week, and the next day another co-worker who I'll call Ken, 30s M, was asking what they did. She said she got her a stuffed animal, got a two-pack of cupcakes, and took her to a restaurant. I realized she spent maybe all of $20 for her kid's birthday. 
the stuffed animal was only $5, the cupcakes she's talking about are $1.10 at the grocery store, and the restaurant they went to, kids eat free. I said she was lucky her kid was young enough to not realize what a cheapskate her mom was. Emma gave me a really nasty look and said not everyone was materialistic or required expensive things. I thought that was really rude and told her not to get snotty with me because she got called out for being cheap, and that kids deserved better than what she did. She told me considering my current family situation maybe I wasn't the best person to be doling out parenting advice, then left. I felt like she slapped me in the face. I expected Ken to agree she acted like a bitch, but he said she was right, and the guy whose kid won't talk to him shouldn't be telling anyone else about what they should be doing as a parent. I got really upset, and considered going to HR over it, but decided against it. I found out later that Emma is really struggling and that cheap birthday was all she could afford. I feel a little bad about that, but still feel like she really overreacted especially by bringing my family situation into it. She hasn't spoken to me since that happened and several other co-workers are being pretty frosty to me as well. I told Emma I was sorry what I said offended her, but nothing has improved. What advice do you have so I can smooth things out with my co-workers? I erased my delusional daughter from my life. I'm happier. Hello Redditors, I find myself grappling with a situation that has taken an emotional toll, and I'm hoping you can lend me your perspectives about how I have dealt with my unappreciative daughter and her melodrama. My, 60F, daughter, 25F, let's call her Emma, recently took a trip down the aisle without extending so much as a whisper of an invitation my way. She hasn't spoken to me since an incident 18 months ago where I was merely showing Emma motherly affection, and she completely overreacted and lashed out at me physically and verbally. We've had rough patches in our relationship before but this time Emma has taken things way too far by uninviting me to her wedding. Despite her shutting me out for over a year, I still expected an invitation to the wedding or for her to postpone it until we were on better terms. After all, I'm still Emma's mother, and it's reasonable to assume I'd be a part of such a significant milestone, right? In the year leading up to her wedding, I sent Emma hundreds of emails, pouring my heart out, explaining my side and how she's had a good childhood and apologizing for whatever issues she seems to have with me. Despite my efforts, she's been completely icing me out, apart from one letter where she claimed I wasn't invited due to my supposed behavior. It's been a real punch to the gut, since I have done so much for her, including letting her live with me rent-free when her ex-BF cheated on her and dumped her, and playing nice with her now husband even though he was disrespectful and rude to me the first time we spoke. Feeling snubbed and hurt by her actions doesn't even begin to cover it. So, I decided if Emma doesn't want me to be a part of her life, then she can't be a part of mine. I mean, why bother when she didn't even consider us important enough to attend her wedding, right? So, I cut her out of our will and gathered all the evidence of her existence, including photos, memorabilia, keepsakes, and everything else she's left at our house, and decided to go full Marie Kondo on it and burn them. Now, some might call it extreme, but I see it as a necessary step for my own mental and emotional well-being. Now, before you pass judgment, let me paint a fuller picture. Emma's been weaving quite the tapestry of drama, spinning tales about my alleged violence and abuse. It's been heart-wrenching, especially considering I've endured physical aggression from her without retaliation. According to Emma, I'm the root of all her problems and she even blamed me for supposed abuse she and do from her ex-BF. How crazy is that? She's shown herself to be a pathological liar, first claiming that her ex was abusive and are at pet her and now that she's making similar claims about me. I know that all that was bullshit now and I even called her out on her lies. She didn't have anything to say about it which proves that she was being dishonest, right? The catalyst of my decision was that Emma went so far as to get a restrained order against me. She is completely delusional and has gone to extreme lengths for revenge. She is clearly very unstable and mentally ill in a dangerous way and her lack of gratitude for what I've done for her makes her actions downright evil and unforgivable. So, erasing her from our lives seems like the only sane choice, right? I'm just protecting myself from her delusional abuse and trying to salvage what's left of my sanity amidst her turbulent version of reality. I know it sounds harsh, but am I really in the wrong for cutting her out of my life completely like she has done to me? It's not solely about the wedding snub, it's a desperate attempt to shield myself from the twisted narrative my daughter's been crafting against me. Is reducing her memories to ashes really make me wrong considering how she has treated me, or is it a justified step to protect my own mental health?